Hello, welcome back to Worldview Connections, our series, Worldview on Scientism. We finished the last video wondering if we should use the scientific method to analyze or know if artwork or relationships or food is true or good. Uh, does science help us to know the truth and value of everything? Let me put it in another way. There's a saying that goes, everything's a nail when you're a hammer. My question is, should we even try to use the scientific method to analyze or know if some things or certain things in life are true or good? Science is a tool of logic, a very valuable tool, I would say, but a tool which is not used or ought to be used for everything in life. So in this picture with the hammer and the nail, hammer's great for using it and nailing things down. My experience in carpentry and construction use a lot of hammers to nail things down with. But when you have a Phillips screwdriver, a screwdriver, a slot screwdriver, you can't nail it in. For certain applications, certain tools are not any good. So when it comes to our relationships or things that are more subjective, science isn't the tool. On the flip side, yes, there is religious dogma. Many religious people who claim that science is evil and from the devil, quote unquote, and we don't need science. Faith in God and biblical revelation, quote unquote, is all we need to have ultimate truth. As you see in this sign, this church, the Assembly of God had a sign out there that says, a free thinker is Satan's slave. But a big question I ask you, do we have to choose between only these two extreme worldviews, such binary divisive ways of thinking and mindsets? I say no. What is the solution then to get rid of this dogma on either extreme, science or religious? Well, I think education, critical thinking skills, learning these ways of questioning and seeing the world without the need to have certainty at times, where there is not uh, things that you find I'm not only just referring to evidence, but only other things even within yourself to know for sure. But the freedom to access and communicate information from various sources, whether it be science or religion or politics, philosophy, wherever, we, wherever you can, find the truth and synthesize these ideas. I think that's the roadmap for the 21st century. Can we appreciate the good from all sources? Can we use scientific reasoning to help us make a better world? Of course we can. We can also use wisdom from religious text and culture to make a better world. So in this illustration I've created here, you see how religious ideas and educational ideas and any ideas that are for cooperation and human improvement for life on the earth, for animals and plants, the scientific cooperation, working together to make unity socially and a better world environmentally, economically, politically, in any way socially. Are there limits to only using the methods of science? As I've said, yes. Because here are some exp specific examples here. What about the mysteries of science? The mysteries of life? The origins of life? Consciousness? The question, why are people intrinsically motivated to be altruistic, is a very important question that scientists, psychologists, biologists are trying to look at. Evolution doesn't make sense of why people are intrinsically good. Again, I'm not saying there are some people, um, I'm not denying that there aren't people who do good for the wrong reason. And we've talked about that in our sec uh, series on morality. But must there be a war between science and religion? I don't think there is. I think there are people intrinsically motivated to be altruistic, to do good for other people without the extrinsic, whether it be fear of being punished or just this greedy desire to be known or praised by others or having fame or uh, a reward of some kind. So I think that there becomes a cynical, pessimistic view of humanity when you view everything that's done for good as simply a means to an end. Uh, so. I think these are questions that science really can't hit on in some ways. So thank you for joining us. Stay with us. Join us on the next video on our series on scientism.